The road from Gangra Slusuak to the Greenland ice sheet is bumpy, running 40 kilometers or so over scrubby, almost desert landscapes. I'm going to visit a place called Point 660, where a group of scientists from UCLA and Rutgers are investigating how water melts and moves on the Northern Hemisphere's biggest ice pile. We know that the Greenland ice sheet is melting and that the melt is accelerating. And we know that that melt water is contributing to global sea level rise. And that the implications of that are huge for people all over the world. And it's not a local effect, it's a global effect. It's peak summer, so the midnight sun grazes but does not sink below the horizon in evening hours. At this time of year, the Arctic is getting more solar energy than any other part of the world. At Point 660, easy access makes for a natural laboratory for ice scientists, who today are giving some young visitors a quick course in ice sheet behavior. To be in Greenland is total immersion in a landscape of water and light. As our atmosphere changes, scientists want to learn how water and light are themselves changing this critical landscape, and how those changes will affect all of us in every other part of the globe. For the next two weeks, I'll be living with and learning from the people who are asking the questions and slowly unraveling the answers to the most critical issues of climate change. I hope you follow along on this dark snow fieldwork for 2016.